The 2024 Florida RV Super Show is right around the corner, also known as the Tampa RV Show. So a lot of people refer yeah. to it, although that's not the proper way. Because there's an actual Tampa RV Show that's separate. It's a much smaller show, but this is the Florida RV Super Show. So it's right around the corner, guys. This will be our fifth time going six, there. Six. Six time going there. So we had a little bit of experience, and we want to share with you for those people that maybe have not been there, they're thinking about going. There's a lot of things you want to know before you head out. That way you can make your experience the best experience possible. So this video is going to be an informative video to kind of give you all the details. If you want to just sit back and listen, take notes, you don't have to do all the research for yourself. That's why we're here. So let's start with the dates of the show. So the first day of the show is called Industry Day. That is for people in the industry who go to, you know, they're either vendors or manufacturers or YouTube channels or whatever. So that's going to be on Tuesday, January 16th. So that will be closed to the public. The public show opens on Wednesday, January 17th and runs through Sunday, January 21st. Now the hours, this, if you are a Hershey show goer, this is quite different from that. And I actually like this better. Mm -hmm. They're shorter days. The Hershey show runs from 9 to 8 p.m. usually. So this show from Wednesday through Saturday is 9 to 6 p.m. And then on Sunday, it'll be 9 to 5 p.m. So the next obvious question is, where is the show being held? Well, it's being held in Tampa, specifically the Florida. Florida State Fairgrounds, which is located at 4800 U.S. Highway 301 North in Tampa, Florida. It places huge. There's a lot of camping there, much better than at the Hershey Show. It's just a really big show. There's a lot of rallies. I know the yeah. AIM rally is having a lot of different rallies, and it's just, if you've never been to the Tampa, excuse me, Florida RV Super Show, and you are thinking about going, all we can say is go. It is so much fun. We love the Hershey show, but people say which one is better. We think okay. that the Florida show is way better because it's just so much more offerings. And we can just mention this one example, guys, when you go to the Hershey show, you'll see a lot of higher end motorhomes, for example, but they don't have, they stop at a certain point. So for example, in the Newmar line, you will stop at the London air. Right. When you get to the Florida RV super show, you are getting all the way up to the King air. And then in the expo center, which I'm just getting excited thinking about it, you have all all the Prevo conversions. So you're going to have Liberty coaches there, Marathon coach. You have a, just a, such a wider variety. For of travel, yep. Newell, you have all of them. Also, Newell, that depends. One year they weren't outside, there. They were at, the last two they've been there. Yeah, but the year before that they weren't. So hopefully they will because that's awesome. The other awesome thing is that it's in Tampa. It's in a major U.S. city. So unlike Hershey, there's a lot to do. There's not really much to do in Hershey, guys. <laughs> Except Hershey chocolate. <laughs> yeah, but Tampa, I mean, if you like restaurants, entertainment, it's, it's all right there. So there's a lot to do at the show, a lot to do after the show. All right, get your pens ready. The, here's the admission cost, and they do vary a little bit depending on days and certain discounts and things. So it's $15 per adult, and that is for a two-day pass, which is pretty good. Children under 16 are always free. Now, unlike the Hershey Show, make a note of this, you can get tickets when you get there. Hershey Show is only online prior to the show. They will have tickets at the entrance gate. Online ticket sales are actually also running as well right it's gonna now. It's going to save you time if you do it online. Yeah, yeah. Some people, but they may not be sure if they can go. Right. If you just go last minute, just know you can get tickets there. So that's a perk. Let's talk about discounts now. Discounts Wednesday, January 18th through Friday, January 20th. For senior citizens, you will get $2 off a person. First responders and military active and retired, $2 off per person. That would be every day for the show. General parking is handled by the Florida State Fairgrounds. Cash and credit cards are accepted. Daily rate is $10 per car and $16 per RV. If you have any questions, you can contact them at 813-621-7821. There's also an email. It's info at floridastatefair.com. Next thing is pets. Can you bring your, I should say dogs, because I wouldn't recommend bringing cats bring or cat. parrots or things to the show. Bring your peacock. <laughs> so you can bring your dogs. They encourage dogs to be mild-tempered and well-mannered and all of that good stuff. People I think, listen to that. Well, people also have different <laughs> ideas of what well-mannered is when you it comes to dogs. You want to give them a dogs. definition of what well-mannered dog is? So well-mannered dog, mild-tempered dog, will not be barking at every other dog they <laughs> see or or a tail tucked between their legs and, and freaking out because there's so many people. So I guess a couple things to think about if you're going to bring your dog. And I love seeing dogs that are there as long as they're happy. Please don't bring your dog if it is 95 degrees. The first year we went to the it show, was it was hot and it was way too hot for dogs to be out there for an extended period of time. Also, if your dog does not 
do well in crowds, think twice about it. Mm -hmm. It can be very traumatic for a dog, especially in Tampa, because it's usually, you know, everybody's down in Florida for the summer. So they're in that Tampa area. Everybody's going to the show. Tons of people. Just think twice. Would your dog be able to handle this well? So Super Rally and Fairgrounds Overnight Parking is sold out. That sells out very quickly. They do have a lot of people camping there. It's it's pretty crowded. Last year, they didn't have electricity and a lot of people were annoyed by that. Just a word of advice. If you are going to you're booked and you believe you have electrical hookup, go in with a fuel, a full fuel tank. And if you have a generator, because people were running that last year, yeah, because it, it was, was hot at some days. It was unfortunate, yeah. You can try to find some other area campgrounds. Just go to campflorida.com. It's going to be hard to find. At this it, point, it's, it's it'll tough be out tough. there. Yeah. So this is our first year that we're driving the motorhome down. Hopefully we won't get any snow. Previous <laughs> years, we stayed at hotels. Sometimes we prefer staying at a hotel, although it can get quite expensive, especially at that really time. Expensive. They raised the prices. Yes. Everybody knows that shows there. There are nearby hotels, Sheridan Tampa, Brandon Hotel, and the Embassy Suites are like the official hotels, but this it's Tampa. There's tons of hotels. And if you can't find one in the immediate area, you'll find one you somewhere. Drive a little bit. Yeah, at this time last year, most of these hotels were sold out as the making, at the time that we're making this video, which is December 8th or something, 9th or 10th actually, it seems there are availabilities, but I don't know how long it'll last. Wheelchairs. A lot of you like to know if you can rent a wheelchair, scooter, things like that. So wheelchair rentals, manual and electric are available at the entrance gates. So you can go to frvta.org and find more information there. So if you've never been to the Florida Super Show slash Tampa Show, one of the big things, one of the attractions, why it's different than other shows is the entertainment. So from people on unicycles, to all kind of characters, to like clowns and people playing music and the pipe. All the entertainment will be there throughout the day. Certain ones, like the Pipers, I think it's between one and two every day. Yeah, they march around the show. Yeah, I love it. it's pretty cool. I love it. My favorite is the Barbershop Quartet. I love it. They actually, remember they serenaded me yes. three years ago? Yes. It was so cool. It was so much fun. And there's also a lot of opportunity for education and to learn about your RV. Many seminars go on every day at this show, running most of the day. So you'll have seminars from Onan and Lippert, Freightliner, and Spartan is another one. So if you're there, to shop and or to learn, you're definitely going to have a lot of opportunities to do so. There will also be opportunities for meet and greets from your favorite uh, social media influencers or whatever, whoever you want to meet that's in the industry that will likely be there. I know Bob Tiffin's there like every year. Yeah, he's he always goes, he's he's big shows. He's usually on the Allegro bus. You could probably that's find That's a secret, it. Allegro yeah. bus. You're probably Saturday on the Allegro bus. Yeah. But we plan on being there. We're going to do a meet and greet at some point, although the times have not been released yet. So if you follow us on this channel or or Instagram, Facebook is probably even better because it's more real time. Once we get a good confirmation, we'll let you know where we're going to be and what times we'll be there. Something that we love seeing at the shows is when you guys are sporting your ERV gear because we know we do all the time. Yeah. The show, you'll see us with it. This is a newer shirt. You've probably seen in some of our videos or RVing the USA shirt that we've made. That is for sale along with everything else in our store. Tons to choose from colors, sizes, styles, you name it. From now until December 31st, which is very close, 10% off everything with code ENDLESS10. 5% of every shirt that we sell here is being donated to Rescue Haven Foundation, a local dog rescue, which we are very fortunate enough that we've sold a bunch of shirts, be able to help them uh, rescue some more dogs. A couple more tips, and we'll get more in depth on uh, just strategy and tips for the show in a later video. But a couple tips. One, there's a lot of walking. There's no getting around it. You're probably not going to cover the whole show if you're really looking at everything in one day. It's probably going to take you two, three days. There's a lot. At least, yeah. So wear comfortable shoes. This is not about looking cute in high heels or, you know, cowboy boots for you guys out there you're going to be in a lot of pain second thing the weather that time of year it's unpredictable so we've been there when it's been rainy and cold we've been there when it's been absolutely perfect like 75 and sunny and then when we've been there when it's been like brutally hot and and it could go from brutally hot one day and the next day is cold so you don't know what you're going to get bring everything for every occasion another thing too is just know there are usually very large crowds. So if you don't like crowds, think twice. Maybe you want to go very early when it opens or later right before it closes, but it does get quite busy. One more quick tip, the food. So depending on what type of food you like, you may find something you may not. Your typical fair food that you could expect, burgers, fries, funnel cakes, that type of food, popcorn, mm-hmm. you know, stuff like that. They also have alcohol, it tends to be pricey. We wind up bringing our own food when we can, especially if you want to stay hydrated. The water 
water can get expensive. Like you can buy a case of water for what you would pay for a bottle of water. So just keep that in mind. If you're going to be there for a couple of days, you can save a couple of bucks, maybe eat a little bit better if you bring your own food. Are you going to the 2024 Florida RV Super Show? We hope so. We are so excited. We love the show. Can't wait to get there. In the comments below, let us know, have you attended the Florida RV Super Show in the past? Are you going this year? Are you shopping? Are you just looking? And to the left of us, if you like videos like this, we'll put our RV tours playlist, we'll put our RV newbies playlist, and for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see, see you, you on, on the road. road.